Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to Let's Play Clock Tower The First Fear and this is part 3 Am I getting confused for God's sake? <laughs> I've been playing this for this long I've even been playing it for too many parts that I can't remember I can't count you free Okay come on upstairs This key has to work on one of these doors up your stairs, Jimmy. Up the stairs, Jimmy, fur. Na, 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 Excuse me. I didn't mean to hit my mic just then. I cannot get used to the fact that it's a headset and the mic comes around my head. This room. Fuck that room. Here we go. In you go, Jenny. Locked. You are kidding me. Does this key go the other one downstairs? I mean, for God's sake, I played this last time and it went right upstairs! Yeah, I kind of fucking played this because... Well, this isn't the first time I had to bloody record this. The first time I recorded I got to this part, like... I got to this part and... Jesus Christ. I didn't... I, you, I tried to use the gold key, but it went up there instead of down here, and for God's sake. Let's go. Okay, maybe not run. Because she's kinda like, Oh God, I'm gonna go and s slit myself now. Where's scissor man's scissors when she needs them? Okay, try that door. Please tell me it'll work. Use the gold key. Woohoo! Ring 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 ring. Banana phone. Da da da. Ding dong ding dong ding. Banana phone. It seems to have been used recently. Some of the drink is still in there. Hmm? Question mark. A silver key is under the glass. Pocketed the silver key. Why would you keep a key under a fucking cup? The phone line is being cut. Oh well, lucky me. Hi, armor. I'm not gonna examine you. Because it might be in like Clock Tower 2 to struggle within whenever fucking. There's one more clues here. This one's different. This one's different, I'll just fucking cheek it. I'm not gonna fucking examine that statue. It might be like, uh, what was it? Uh, clock, yeah, I was saying that it might be like Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. Which, it had a samurai outfit that fucking stalked you, and it was just like, what? It was like, what? And it was like, the fucking spirit of the protagonist's cousin or whatever, and it was like, what? And it was really fucking weird. Uh, 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 I can't get up the stairs. I'm too fat. Oh, hurry the fuck up, love. You're too fat. Is you too fat? Uh, does a silver key go in this other locked door? I don't know. Please tell me it does. Otherwise I fucking wasted a trip. And I'll have no idea where the fuck this key goes. Use the silver key. Woohoo! What's this place? Hello? The mural covers the entire wall. Part of it's beh hidden behind that shelf. Nice to know. 
Various chemicals are on the dust. No, they're not, you liar. Uh huh, some cheer. There's a note here. Time will cause adherence? The clock tower's clocks stopped. The clock tower's clock stopped. How the fuck do you know? Where's the clock tower? What the fuck? Where's the clock tower that is, like, so good on this game? That it had to be called. That his namesake had to be there. I saw something I could click. Or was it just a little piece of shit? Okay. Ooh. Nothing. Great. Guess I don't have to move that shelf then. Okay. What well, weird mural though. That mural though. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go. Uh, there was one other lot true. Did I hear something? Or was it just my imagination? I'm going nuts! <laughs> anyway. Let's go. Let's go and investigate the last locked door. Well, there was one at the start, but I'm just too fucking lazy to go all the way back there. To try out that key. Okay, hurry up, Jennifer. Christ, it'd be faster if you just fucking jump down it. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Come on, we need to go see what the fuck's going on with the clock tower, even though we have no idea where the fuck it is. Thank you! Yeah, fuck off, phone, I get it, you're there. You're there to annoy me. Like this, oh, this is. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Does human entertainment even exist anymore? I don't think it does. Kind of a shame. Once again, I'm not looking out that fucking window because I don't want to know what's out there. Or that window, or that window. I'm just going to walk casually away. And back into this fucking... Hall of Despair. Like, look at all the deep, bloody, purple and pink and shit. I don't know what those colors are. Okay. Am I even in the right hallway? I think this is the right hallway. Tick tock. No, it's not that door, it's the other one. It's the middle one. It's this. For fuck's sake, hurry up. It's this door. Yeah, it. Come on, this door. Yeah, the girl. Hello! This room. Looks like the one in the mural. Nice. What's this? A square hole is visible. The cradle under the star. There's something underneath here. There's a cor crow's corpse next, severely severed. Shame symbols are written here. Time will cause adherence. What's that? What does that mean? I think it means time will cause adherence. I don't know. A cross is carved into oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. I'm smart. Me smart. Yay! What? What was that sound? Whoa! Hello. Um. Okay. The hole goes pretty far down. I can descend with this ladder here. Off you go then, love. That's a weird sound for a ladder to make. What is that? What is that noise? Sounds like... It sounds like a fucking bladder or something. It sounds like a very angry bladder. 
What the fuck? Oh, I guess that's why I got the black robe. Something's there. Okay, um... The dog knows the smell very well. It smells like the perfume Mary uses. That's a lie. Dogs are smarter than that in real life. You liars. They know different human smells. What's that? So what's at the end of this place? I know it still smells like the fucking shit Mary uses. I don't care about her. <gasps> lots! Lots! Uh, lots. You're still alive? Mm, Jennifer. The switches hit the clock tower. Ugh. Lot. Don't. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> I love how you leave Lot alone. Lot, don't leave me! One second. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Bye! Okay, let's go through here then. So, what's this way? Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, fucking clop. What's that? Dot dot dot, it's a fucking table. There's a can here. It looks like kerosene. Yeah, continue walking, love, even though it would, even though it didn't say anything. I just want her to stop and, like, get her sanity back. Cause she going gonna go batshit crazy if she don't. So, uh, how are you all doing? You good? Uh huh. I don't think Jennifer's really good. She's getting there. <laughs> She's getting there. She's getting there. She's getting quite close to sanity. I'll hurry up. I wish you could take something in this game. What do I have left in my inventory? A rock, a ham, a cage key, and a rope. Yeah, that's useful. What am I gonna do? String the ham up on the rope and... Put the key inside the ham and smash it with a rock? Okay, she's getting better, I think. I think that's her getting better. It's gone green. And I think it goes uh, blue, green, and then some other colors, and then red. <laughs> I don't know. I've never played this before. Uh huh. Uh. Oh, there we go. She's fine now. Let's just keep on going. Hurry up. Hurry up, or Lot will have died in vain even though you left her alone, you bad bitch. Okay, let's just keep on going this way then. Dare we see what's beneath? What dare we? <laughs> okay, fuck's sake. Dare we see what's in the cradle under the star? Of course we do, because we're stupid. Like, Jesus Christ, why not? Like, duh. 
Let's see what's in the cradle under the stars. What in the world is that? I do not even... Ah! Panic! Panic! Panic button! Panic button! Panic button, I guess. Panic button, I guess. Go, you fucking twat! Go, 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 Oh fuck! Well, that's an eclimactic right there. And it just disintegrates into thin air. I'm gonna imagine that that was the other baby. Go, get, go! Go, fuck. You have a right to be fucking panicking. Come on, use the elevator. I know it's an elevator. Yeah. It looks like one, so it is one. There was obviously a dead end back there. <laughs> I didn't know this house had a third floor. The first floor will be shit, the second floor will be shit, so let's see if we can get out via the third floor. Hello? Get out! Get out! Scissor man! Scissor man! Scissor man! Scissor man! Scissor man! Go! Go! Go faster! Go faster! The switches! Use the switches, Jennifer! Quickly! You fucking twat. There we go. What the fuck's gonna happen now? What the fuck? It don't like the cogs. Okay, bye. Fucking weird thing. Well, that was fun. Just gonna go up yet? There we go. And. You, you killed my sons. Woohoo! Crows, crows have come to rescue me. So Mary gave birth to weird fucking twins who were demons, and she adopted these girls to sacrifice them to her sons, or what? This game makes no sense. But it's artistically wonderful. Oh please, that wasn't such big a fall. Please, she would have been able to live that. Surely. What the fuck is that thing right there? I'm gonna imagine it's a texture glitch. Yep, it's definitely a texture glitch. Hooray! Anne and Jennifer left. And I think that's the best ending. One of them lives along with Jennifer and stuff. So yeah. I think that's the best ending there is. Is it? Yep. That would be the ending. Thank God for that. Although I've got to admit, it was quite a short game. I mean... My god, it was short. Well, I suppose I might as well give my uh, opinions on it now. Artistically, it's brilliant. I just love the uh, designs and everything, especially from the time that it came from. Um, what else? Well, to be honest, this is the best game 
in the series, along with Hunting Ground, because it just went downhill, <laughs> to be honest, quite quickly. Um, hmm. It was... It was interesting. I think it was... <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not really sure if it was the first survival horror game, because people are really torn about all of that, but I kind of think it was the first survival horror game. It was really fun. I quite liked it. Dan and Bobby. Right, so which one was which? Uh, I think Bobby was the scissor man and Dan was the weird thing in the fucking caves trying to eat us for dinner. But yeah. Um... I love the music. It's just so awesome. Uh, <coughs> what else can I say? Oh my god. I just almost totally forgot about the game Remodered. That'll be... Uh, that's being created by Chris Darrow. That was going to be an indie game based off of the Clock Tower series. It was uh, inspired by it. But it was bought over, and so they decided to make it bigger, make it grander. But it's still inspired by the Clock Tower series. And I really wish I would be able to play it, but I don't really think it would come out on next-gen consoles and just PC. Because of the PC Master Race. But I would really love to be able to play that, because it looks really good. And let's see what else could I say? Main cast what? There's no voices. Except from that scream and stuff. Oh well. Directed by Fumi Hono. Okay. Okay, well I guess that's uh, the end of the credits. If you liked this little playthrough, like and comment if you want, and even subscribe if you want. I don't really care about subscriptions or anything, but I guess it does probably help. Human entertainment. So anyway, thank you for sticking by me during this weird game, and stay tuned for another game that I'm going to be doing quite soon. Okay, so peace out. Bye!